Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and I didn't think that less than 24 hours after I said, I hope and I think Storm is going to get a tier 3, I'd be already correcting myself, but here we are. Apparently, I mean, I can't prove that Storm isn't getting a tier 3, but apparently Jean Grey is absolutely getting a uniform and a tier 3, so... Hold on to your chairs, because the entire game is about to be turned upside down once again. The queen who ruled the game for more than a year is coming back to rain fiery hell on everyone. Also, spoiler for Season 8 of Game of Thrones. So what the hell are we supposed to do with this information? Well, let's, let's kind of backtrack and figure out where this information came from. This screenshot, which you can see is in Chinese, not English, was originally accidentally posted on the Taiwanese... Um, Netmarble forum. Now, you know, the game is global and the game uh, has, you know, fans all around the world. And so there are multiple uh, different languages for the Netmarble forums. There's the English one, which is quite popular, but there's also, you know, the Taiwanese one, there's the Japanese one, there's a Korean one that's on the Naver Cafe, and then there was originally a Turkish one as well. There may be others that I'm unaware of, but those three main ones are quite large Japanese, Taiwanese, slash Chinese, and then. Um, the English one and for whatever reason there was a post and now the, this is the original post in English um, and this this is actually has this has nothing to do with uh, the update and that this has nothing to do with Jean Grey or Storm or the X-Men this is just a nice community event with a mentor support for new agents and it's a really cool way of trying to encourage uh, new players to kind of buddy up or partner up with veteran players um, and sort of a mentor mentee uh, situation and what you basically do is that the mentee or the the newer player will send screenshots of uh, their gameplay and then with the mentors then with the mentors help they will progress in the game and they have to hit certain milestones um, and you know for each milestone you hit you'll receive 500 crystals so there's there's a, a physical reward there's an incentive and it's also a great way of integrating new players into the game of which we have tons of after end game so you know all you new fans out there watching hey what's up it's me you don't have to worry about the mentorship program just just come and watch all my videos I'll take good care of you now the the issue in question is that the this screenshot right here for the Taiwanese board, for the Taiwanese forum, didn't use this sample image. They used a different sample image and they accidentally used a screenshot from the test build. So basically the way that it works is um, there is the regular servers that we all play on and then there's another separate private server that is only for testing out new characters. And so when we see the, the test servers for new characters, let's say in the last update we had Thanos' new uniform, the person who was showing Thanos and the, the account where I was there, I was sitting on the couch at Marble, they had like a rank 1 or rank 2 Thanos. And that's obviously not the real live server it wasn't any of these guys here because on the test server there's only about 10 people so you don't have to work very hard to get the number one of a character because the test server only you know accounts for like five or ten different accounts at any one time and so essentially what happened was uh, they went on their test server and they loaded into a, a mission in order to take the screenshot and because they were I mean they weren't selecting Jean Grey but because their their friends one of them had Jean Grey's um, icon as their profile picture, that's why Jean Grey showed up down here. If you guys don't know, the character that gets chosen here is the same character that you choose for your uh, account profile. So if you go up to the top left-hand corner and you choose your select main, by choosing Wolverine, I'm letting people who are on my friends list when they want to summon me for assistance, they're summoning my Wolverine. Now, probably if you wanted the strongest character on my roster, I'd probably choose like Deadpool or something like that. But Wolverine's pretty cool too, and I just love him, so that's why I chose him. But essentially, that's what happened. Um, and then they unwill unwittingly uh, uploaded that screenshot, not realizing that Jean Grey was there. Now, the screenshot has since been removed and replaced, of course, but the damage is done. And I mean, I wouldn't call it damage. Um, so much as just a uh, cool, you know, kind of spoiler pre-sneak peek, sneak peek. We're obviously going to be getting another sneak peek down the road, and I would imagine that if Jean Grey was teased um, with a uniform, that we would probably also assume she was getting a Tier 3, because as much more powerful as Jean Grey is compared to Storm, as weak as Storm is compared to Jean, uh, Jean is so much more popular, you know, and in the game, she's still revered as one of the best characters. The Reddit still thinks she's the best character because they're living in 2017. And so because of that, um, it would be hard for them to pass up on the opportunity to Tier 3 Jean Grey. I mean, if they don't give her a Tier 3, that's kind of the, the logic here. If they don't give her a Tier 3 uh, with this update, but they do give her a uniform, when would she get a Tier 3? She'd be getting her level 70, she'd be getting a uniform, 
but no tier 3. And Jean Grey is basically the second last old native tier 2 to not get that treatment. Doctor Strange, on the other hand, he got that last year with uh, Infinity War when he got the cheap uniform and he got the opportunity to go to level 70 gear 25. So they kind of circumvented, they avoided the awkwardness with Doctor Strange by preemptively giving him gear 25, level 70, and a new uniform. They've never done that for Jean Grey, and so it's come to the point where it's kind of now or never. If they only drop the uniform and level 70 gear 25, Honestly, I still think it would make her super OP and she'd be frustrating to play once again, but then we would have to wait at least another year for her to get her tier 3. So they kind of just want to kill two birds with one stone, and I totally understand that. Now, what the hell are we going to do about this? This is a serious problem. So I'm going to I'm going to cover some suggestions that I should have covered in yesterday's or in today's video earlier this morning, uh, and then we'll get to Jean Grey. First of all, you should start farming Storm Biles ASAP. Unless you've got tons of Mega Mythic rank up tickets, you definitely want to start going and playing this epic quest mission. You can just clear ticket it. It's good uh, resources in terms of XP, but it's a pretty quick mission. But you want to just get Biles. You'll get between 10 and 15 per day. There I got, I don't know, I was at 40 and now I'm at 52. So I got 12. It's pretty good. Um, and you can quickly build up enough Biles. I mean, we have at least a week for the update. So you'll be able to get, you know, anywhere from 80 to or 85 to 100 Biles for her uh, preemptively, even if you had none like me. Besides that, you can start hoarding and you should start hoarding your Phoenix Feathers, Emkron Crystals, and Emkron Shards because you're going to need these um, not only for any new characters that are mutants, also for uniform upgrades, also for the potential for both Jean Grey and Storm, and then also building up their gears to 25 because it costs feathers. Now, in terms of the actual feather cost, I'm pretty sure back in the day, Deadpool cost me about 5,000 of each. And Deadpool's gonna cost the same as Jean Grey, so you can expect that you're going to spend upwards of, you know, 3,000 of both Phoenix Feathers and Emkron Crystals, not the Shards, um, in order to get Jean to level 70, gear 25. It's extremely expensive. It might actually be more than 5,000, 5,000, um, depending on your luck. It might have just been 5,000, 5,000 for his level 70, and then another, like, 4,000 or 3,000 Feathers just for the gears. Um, but there's really not much you can do uh, besides maxing out your 3,000, because once you hit 3,000, of course, you hit the cap. Now, there are a few creative ways of getting over the cap. I believe in the support tab, you can request Phoenix Feathers and Emkron Crystals, and those that you collect will go over the limit of 3,000. Uh, additionally, you can go and you can create more um, in the shot, in the, in, the, in the processor. Now, keep in mind, to create shard crystals, you need feathers, and then to create feathers, you need crystals. So there's really no way of amassing both. Uh, the only advantages or the only kind of, you know, thing that you can re rely on is that you're going to need more feathers because you can use feathers or Emkron crystals for the potential but you can only use Phoenix feathers for Jean Grey's gears and presumably also for Storm's gears and any other X-Men who get their level 70 um, and so because of that you technically need a lot more feathers than Emkron crystals additionally I believe if you make any purchases in the shop for either real money or crystals and you collect those items they will also go over the cap of 3000 for you so you can kind of do that to artificially pump yourself up additionally the last one is from the item shop you can purchase don't purchase them for crystals you can purchase Phoenix feathers and Emkron crystals when they show up for gold and that will also contribute to your amount over the cap of 3,000 but once you do those things well what the hell else is there to do honestly not much but just hold on and and wait to see what happens we're probably going to be getting potential as well for the other X-Men so I would imagine Beast is gonna get his level 70 Cyclops uh, Storm and Rogue, possibly Magic as well, because there's just not that many X-Men, and there's not that many mutants left who don't have their level 70, actually, it's, it's just those six, um, possibly Apocalypse as well, we're gonna have to wait and see, but it's, there's just gonna be a huge um, demand for Feathers and Emkron Crystals, so my advice to you is, you know, spend them carefully once the update lands, watch to see my content and other content from other players, so that you can find out which one of these characters are more valuable to rank up, um, so you don't end up, you know, spreading your resources too thin and not having anyone built up if one of them or two of them happen to be super powerful. Now, lastly, speaking of super powerful, we have to broach the subject of Jean Grey. For those of you that don't know, when she came into the game in 2017, she was absolutely busted. She wasn't the first character to revive, but and she wasn't even the first character to penetrate, but she basically became... Uh, an unstoppable force of, of nightmares. 
Um, not only does she have, you know, insane damage for, for her time, I mean, even now her damage is good enough to kill some tier 2, tier 3 characters. I can still die to a Jean Grey with a damage proc uh, using my tier 3 Wolverine, uh, and yeah, she has the type advantage, but it's still that insane how much damage she does. Her fifth skill, on top of having these crazy buffs, it also has guard break penetration. Now, this is not something that's listed and this is not something that a majority of the community knows, but there are certain skills in the game that have an unlisted effect that will still guard break you even if you had guard break immunity. Now, I don't know if this is a, an intentional design by the devs or if this is an accident, but you've got, you know, Jean Grey's fifth skill, you've got Nova's second skill, you've got Quicksilver's second skill. There's quite a few characters that have a skill that will guard break you even if you have guard break immunity. And so, there's just... It's hard to explain, you know, she doesn't seem that that good on paper compared to some characters that we have now, but with the self-healing, with the priority iframes, she doesn't even need a target to do the iframe on her third skill. With the insane burst damage and penetration of Phoenix Awakens, and then the crazy damage of Phoenix Descent, and the revive, and everything else, she's just she's just insane. She's an insane character even even to this day. She's not as good as she once was, she's, she's not really in the meta, um, but she will absolutely be there if all they do is give her level 70, gear 25, and a uniform, she will be right back in the meta. I guarantee you. If they buff her, she can get out of control. So really, I, I don't want her to get out of control again. I know some of you guys are going to hate me for saying that, but Jean Grey does not deserve to be at the top of the meta again. You may hate this current meta of Captain Marvel and Thanos, but you know what? Captain Marvel was never in the fucking meta. She just got here. Give her some time to breathe. Give her some time to enjoy being the best. She's only been here since March. That's months. Jean Grey was literally at the top of the meta for more than a year. Wanting her to go right back there is just selfish, and honestly, it's kind of lazy on the part of the developers if they keep making the same characters strong. You know, personally, I would rather, uh, even if she didn't get her tier 3, I would rather Storm be more meta than Jean with this upcoming update, because Storm's never had her time in the spotlight. And it's not up to the Marvel Future Fight devs to constantly um, give us exactly what we want, because we don't always want what's best for the game. Constantly having the same characters be dominant is not fun for the majority of the community. Giving every character or, you know, the majority of characters a turn, even if it's a short turn of just a few months, really is a much more satisfying event because you can go back and you can relive those moments with all those different characters, whereas there was literally a period of like a year where it was just Jean Grey and Quicksilver fucking everywhere. And before that it was Doctor Strange and before that it was Loki. Literally no one wants to go back to those times. No one gives a shit if Loki is meta again. And honestly, Jean Grey, in my opinion, 100% falls into that boat. So this has turned into a little bit of a rant, but I really hope that the Netmarble devs don't go overboard with Jean Grey. I know I said in the earlier video that they do need to go overboard with Storm, but that's because she's never been good. They absolutely do not need to go overboard with a character that has over 25,000 energy attack at level 60 with no uniform. Just try to figure that out in your heads. She's got more energy attack than some tier 3s, I imagine, um, with no uniform at level 60. It's actually bananas. I mean, she has more energy attack than Star-Lord. He's got level 70, and he's got a mythic uniform. I don't really know how that happens. There's obviously other characters that we can look at. She's literally got more... Okay, Emma Frost is the first character that I pulled up that has more energy attack with, with some of her gears already uh, leveled up. So... Whatever, it's Doctor Strange. So, yeah, those are my thoughts, uh, mo both my personal thoughts and my professional thoughts on what is brewing for this X-Men update. It's 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 looking like it's going to be a doozy. It'll be interesting to see how they shake up the PvP meta and the PvE meta with Jean Grey because she's been such a pivotal force. I really don't want her to be the trump card to both Captain Marvel and Thanos. I really hope they create some sort of interplay where Jean Grey becomes a very strong counter to Thanos, but then she gets very strongly countered by Captain Marvel and then you can kind of have this rock, paper, scissors thing going on. If she if she completely cripples the both of them, just bow down to your queen and accept this new meta of Jean Grey that we've already been through back again. So I guess I can't call it the new meta. I've got to call it the repeat meta. Uh, or there's probably the meta meta. Anyways, last but not least, for those of you that haven't purchased the uh, X-Men Rise of the X-Men Deluxe Pack for uh, Magneto, for those of you that don't have Phoenix yet, I wouldn't rush 
to get it. Um, I say that just because there isn't a crystal spending event going on, so you're going to blow those 6,600 crystals and not get enough of a return on them. But additionally, we should see exactly what the update holds and, you know, getting Magneto in order to get Jean Grey now. You could do that if you're capped on feathers, but if you're not, then it doesn't really make that much of a difference. But if you absolutely must have Jean Grey, then disregard everything I've said about what the, what you should do and just absolutely get the Magneto pack ASAP so that you can start building up Jean Grey because uh, you only have a week to get her to six stars, basically. You, at most, you have two weeks to get her to six stars, um, but it's going to be uh, a short journey and it's going to be an expensive one before she lands and gets at minimum a uniform and gear 25 level 70. So let me know what you guys think of this uh, leak. Let me know what you think of Jean Grey, where you want her to land on the meta uh, after she gets her buffs, and if we're gonna see one tier three or two or possibly more. Hit me up in the comments, let's have a conversation. I've updated the Discord link in the part of this video that you're watching now. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.